this the observatory? All this? An almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember. But it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Well, that's a step further than I'd go. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evil. We have ourselves a cut! What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So, what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device. Capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA? Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I... I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my last you're making love to. You lay off, or I catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. That's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad! 
A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial dram of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the King against those revolting Jacobites. Yes. Indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. <laughs> there is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts! Yeah. 